Uh, Chris Rock might be best known as a wise cracking zebra, but he did start where all great comedians start doing stand up. And he's bringing his new show to New Zealand, so we get to talk to him. Short guys can talk about tall guys all day long. I hope your head hits an air conditioning vent. I hope Bin Laden flies a plane into your lips. From stand-up to film, Chris Rock has been the king of the stage and screen for more than 30 years. Even the kids will know his voice. Hey, have a drink. It's on the house. Now the award-winning comic is heading to our shores for the first time since 2017 with his Ego Death World Tour. But tall guys can't talk about short guys. That's just me. Look at these midget <laughs> Three, five, four, four. Joining us now from New York, please welcome Chris Rock. <laughs> there he is. Uh, Chris, COVID, of course, has put pay to a lot of live performances over the last couple of years. How much are you looking forward to getting back out on stage again? I am looking... Yeah, I'm lo definitely looking forward to getting back out there and feeling it and, you know, getting a pulse. And <laughs> I mean, I've been on stage working it out, so it's just going to be good to get in theatres and see, see what works. So uh, when you say working it out, is that like trying gear? Is that in front of small audiences? Uh, yeah, like little clubs, like 200 seats, 300 wow. seats, and, you know, 10 minutes at a time, 15 minutes, new, all new jokes, you know, <laughs> reading <laughs> off a <of> paper. Like, <laughs> like, okay, that one works, that one sucks. Well, how do you play a club that small? If Chris Rock is playing a comedy club, it's going to fill up pretty fast. Do you have to sort of surprise them with your appearance? Yeah, you go to other people's shows. You know, it's like yeah. it's like Sting walking into a jazz club. You know, <laughs> they'll let you up. Sting, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sting walks into a jazz club. They just hand them a bass. What do you need? What do you need, boss? <laughs> hey, have you ever had the chance to work with any Kiwis? Uh, not real. I just was hanging with Taika, the director. I mean, we haven't worked together, but <laughs> just hanging out at his house. <laughs> I had a, we had a couple of drinks a few nights ago, so that's as close as I've gotten. So I'm trying. I'm, maybe I can get in like Thor Nine. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I'm trying to get into. I don't know him that well, but I presume that hanging out with him is just like working with him. Yeah, I, I was. I did a screen test to play the hammer. But I didn't get it. So, uh, <laughs> just trying, man. Come on, Taika. Can I play the hammer? Why can't the hammer talk, man? <laughs> Think about it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, Chris, does your family mind you talking about them to the whole world? Uh, does my family mind? I mean, my family lives off of it. So, I mean, they can't mind. <laughs> that they have no rights. They have no rights. <laughs> they, if they want to stop spending the money, then fine. Then we're even. But as long as they're spending, they're in the act. <laughs> and you've done comedy all over the world, including here in New Zealand before. Is there any kind of joke that is just funny everywhere? I mean, here's what I always realise. When you're talking about pop culture, you do have to tailor it for whatever country you're in. Because everybody's not famous in every country, right? But if you talk about the relationship between men and women, you don't have to change a line. Everybody, like all over the world, men and women are frustrated about the exact same things. Doesn't matter. It's like you have so much in common with a cab driver from Istanbul <laughs> if you want to talk about, you know, your relationships. <laughs> well, Chris, uh, can't wait to see you down here. Thanks for spending some time with us this evening. Thanks for having me. <laughs> he's so cool, he's yeah. so nice um, Chris is bringing his Ego Death World Tour to Auckland and also to Christchurch on August the 7th and the 8th and tickets are on sale on Friday the 18th of March put that in your diary Yeah, and can I say uh, um, get a ticket to this, I've been to heaps of comedy shows I've been to Chris Rock last time he was in New Zealand it was like the closest I've been to a rock concert from a comedian, like yeah. people, people preloaded for that. He's show. got that. He's got that energy, hasn't yeah, he? Totally. Big stadium energy, yeah. <laughs>